Ito na si Tecno Povo 5 Pro. The Pro version is here. Bigger, better, faster with 5G. So we've got here a special box just like the 5. Toblerone style. Audio high-res, audio wireless. Meron na 68 watts ultra charging. Hindi fast charging lang Ultra, ultra. Para ultraman. <laughs> but we have tried this for about 3-4 days now and uh, hindi kayo maninawala sa amin na discover. Malaking difference nila in terms of charging, in terms of performance, in terms of features, and even the camera. Ay, camera, grabe. Nagulat naman ako doon, ang ganda na camera. But first things first, tulad na sinabi ko, meron siyang 5G processor. Dimensity 6080 po ang gamit niya dito. It's got up to 16 gigabytes of RAM daw and up to 256 gigabytes of internal storage. Yung kanya display, a 120 hertz na 1080p dot in display. It's got a 50 megapixel AI camera dual po yan. But yes, hindi lang po siya pro version. It feels like a Techno Pova 6 to me, ah. Tindi kasi. Okay, so excited na ako. Without further ado, I'll be and you're watching Unbox Ladies. Woohoo! <laughs> so just like the Techno Pova 5, it has the same type of box, triangular or parang bubungan ng isang bahay. Pero cover lang po to, ah. You got here yung free fire theme going on. Red, kaya naka red ngayon. And we've got here the specs at the back. But underneath, we're getting this type of box. Just like the usual techno boxes. So pretty much the same as the non-pro version. We've got here, meron na siyang pro version dito. And buksan na natin. Very simple lang. Meron siyang parang sticker dito. And underneath, pala. Ooh. So ayan na po siya, guys. Boom. We've got here SIM ejector pin. And... Ah, yun. Kasing laki lang po. <gasps> guys, yung likod, kakaiba. What? Wala nang ingay yung aking autofocusing. Kasi iba na po yung lens ko ngayon. Mas maganda na. And napansin nyo ba? Yung aking boses ay mas buo. Ngayon. Okay. Underneath, we're getting the jelly case. The 12 plus 1 warranty card. 13. Malas kasi ang 13, kaya 12 plus 1. Hindi, wow. Siyempre yung mga stickers. Free fire. If may hindi kayo mag free fire. And the warranty card. That's pretty much it. Ay, di ba pala? Meron pala sa dito. Meron siyang yellow card full fire for freedom. Just like the non-pro version, meron siyang gift code. And underneath, we're getting... Oh, ang dami. Ito yung gusto gusto ko eh. USB Type-C cable, a pair of earphones na may microphone. And last but not least is a very big 98 million SD. 68 watt fast charger. Munti ka na. Maging million, no? Kala naging pera yun. I need 98 million. Sure ka ba dyan? At yun lang po yung laman. Wow, ang daming naman ni Techno Pova 5 Pro. At ito na po siya mga kaibigan. Let us unslip this. One, two, three. Ah, may ilaw sa likod. Nakita niyo ba yun? Nakita niyo yung sponge? Nakita niyo yung sponge? Wow. Google! So ito na pala siya. Wow. Yung kanyang design ay kakaiba. Well, but yes, you get a similar disc-like shape sa likod. Parang hard drive in the thing. At syempre, meron pa siyang ilaw-ilaw sa likod. Parang Christmas lights. Perfect for Christmas. Hindi pa to yung simple lang na white, no? Hindi ka tulad ng iba dyan. No, white lang. Oi! But yeah, you also get that mecha design just like the Techno Pova 5. Para siyang futuristic machine or robot ready to transform in time. Ito po yung Free Fire Edition, no? Uh, it's a navy blue color, very dark. Now, speaking of color, by the way, meron siyang tatlong colors. Meron siyang Free Fire Edition, meron siyang silver, at meron pa siyang Dark Illusion. I-check nyo na lang, hindi ko lang sure kung pare-pares ko na lang pricing. But yes, the build quality is pretty okay. Very light, kasi nga, this is not actually a metal back, metal frame. But it really looks like a metal frame. Pero kasi guys, pag metal yung inyong body, bibigat po siya. And you don't need that. But what you need is comfort when you're playing like this. Or like that. Or kapag ka nagsiselfie ka ng ganito, syempre, pag mabigat yung phone mo, hirap na hirap ka. Mautak po si Tecno. Alam niyo po ang kailangan niyo. Now, for the most part, looks like ang pinaka-difference lang talaga ni Pro at non-Pro version is yung kanyang gitna. Everything else looks like the same. Yes, it is. Pati yung smudge, same. Na baka mag-iba yung inyong perception kasi nga mag-iba yung kanyang color. Guys, meron din silver color to yung lighter version. So, kung hindi nyo gusto yung very dark one, you can actually get the silver one for a much lighter, much more pleasing look. Pero kung sinas simple lang, you go for this. Ang advantage naman itong dark color is mas halata po yung kanyang RGB lighting sa likod. If you have a darker back, the lighting will be much more pronounced. For example, ito. Ayan po guys, nakita nyo ba yung parang linya-linya na yan? That's right. That pattern right there is the Techno Pova 5 Pro's RGB lighting setup. Ito po yung gumagana kapag ka nag-charge kayo. Ayan po. Also, gumagana ito kapag ka nag-open ng games and yung game space. Ayan po. Gumagana din siya. And even sa mga notification, kapag ganda kayong notification from my call, text, and even sa chat, lalabas din po siya. Tadaan! Wow, magic! Oh, by the way, meron pala siya mga patterns dito or 
Well, actually, yung kanyang speed lang naman. Pwede mo bago-bago yun yung kanyang speed dito sa likod. And even the color pattern, meron tayong breathing, merong party. Itong party, pa-iba ba siya? Meron siya yung parang pa-straight lang. Ito, isang kulay lang. Pwede rin yan. And you can access this sa settings niya under special functions. Ayan na po. Click, click, click lang. And there you go. Different kinds of effects. Now, syempre, yung kanyang shape sa likod ay pretty much the same din sa Techno Pro 5 for the most part. Actually, ah, 90% ha. Even the cameras, no, 50 megapixel AI camera. One, two, dalawa lang po yung kanyang camera. It's got the LED flash right there. And that's pretty much it. Now, hindi binanggit sa amin ni Techno kung ano po yung isang sensor. So, we're guessing daw parang 0.08 siya based on other sources. Pero kasi the star of the show is the 50 megapixel AI camera which you will see later na sobrang, sobrang tindi compared dun sa non-pro version. Now check na naman din yung mga sides niya. Here is the power button sa right side, volume rocker sa taas niya. Sa taas po, yung kanyang uy, may speaker sa taas. Dual speakers pala siya. Meron pa siyang speakers sa ilalim. USB Type-C port, a microphone, and the headphone jack. May headphone jack pa po siya. Siyempre naman, gaming phone, walang headphone jack. Pwede yun. And last but not least is the SIM tray, which is a dual nano SIM card slot plus micro SD card slot for expandability. Pero kasi guys, parang feeling ko din na kailangan kasi meron siya 2, 5, 6 gigabytes out of the box. Now, the display is pretty much the same as the non-pro version. It is a 6.78 inch 1080p dot-in display na meron 120 hertz refresh rate up to 580 nits of brightness. Wow! Intense! So this is a IPS LCD display. So, ibig sabihin, wala kayong problema sa mga AMOLED burn, mga ganun. Kung gusto nyo ng phone ng pangmatagalan, this is what you get. And it's even got a punch hole, which is very similar na naman sa non-pro version. It's not smaller, it's not bigger, the same. It's got some good contrast, good colors. Won't blow you away, by the way. Pero kasi, in terms of yung quality ng sa YouTube, pwede na, pwede na sa mga. Kaya nagulit kami no, sa Mobile Legends, ang ganda ng kanyang graphics. What are we seeing right like here? Ang ganda naman no? very sharp, very high resolution. So, minsan lang lang to guys. Minsan lang lang magkaroon ng high resolution talaga sa ganitong presyuhan sa Mobile Legends. And check this out, up to 1440p, 60 frames per second po ang kanya sa YouTube. And the sounds are actually very, very good. Kasi nga, meron pa siyang dual speakers, dual stereo speakers. You got that 180 immersive experience. O nga pala, meron siyang high-res audio, high-res audio, wireless. O meron kang parang high-end earphones na nag-support ng high-res audio, goods, good siya. Kung audiophile ka, this is the one for you. Now, in terms of performance, ito yung parang na-leave out ko dun sa Techno Pro 5. Di ko sinasabi niyo kanya ang Tutu Benchmark. Pero dito, sasabihin ko lang guys, this one has a 413,000 points at Tutu Benchmark, which is pretty good for this price, ha? At meron na siyang 5G. For me, malaking advantage yun kasi marami nang shift sa 5G. Mas mabilis kasi mas responsive and accurate and reliable compared sa 4G. Pero what about the performance? Ito na po, sa games, sa Mobile Legends, ito po yung kanyang itsura. Mata nyo na kanina. The blow na away kami sa amin nakita kasi meron siyang ultra graphics right out of the box. Meron pa siyang super refresh rate, super smooth po siya. And I think gumagana siya. Umamad po siya ng up to 90 frames per second sa Mobile Legends. Very smooth ang experience. I, I can't believe it. At saka kami galala, meron siyang 5,000 mAh sa battery and ultra charging na 68 watts. Yun nga lang, no? Uh, in terms of battery, mas malaki pa rin si Techno Pro 5. It's got 6,000, ito mga 5,000. Pero kasi yung difference niya, main difference is yung charging. Mas sabis mo mag-charge to. And means, yun nga, umiilo yung likod. Di ba makakaubos ng battery yun? Well, yes, it, it does. Pwede mo siya turn off, guys. Pero kasi, bumawa siya doon sa kanyang fast charging na 68 watts fast charging. So, mabilis ka lang mag-charge sa charging wall. Wala naman siya naghintayan. So, perfect pagka-impatient ka. Katulad mo. Hindi, joke lang. Narinig yung boss ko. Narinig yung boss ko dito. Ang ganda, di ba? Very big. Hasta la vista, baby. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Come on, Barbie, let's go party. Ah, 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 yeah. Come on, ah! Saan ba tayo? Google! Ay, ako pala. Sa, sa games. Okay, sa Mobile Legends po, guys. Ito yung itsura. Wala mo sabi. It's a very smooth experience. Uh, I wouldn't say it's faster than the non-pro version. But, yun nga, meron kang 5G. So, in, in comparison, you'll get much better internet speeds, a much more reliable gameplay compared sa 4G counterpart niya. Sa Call of Duty naman, ito, meron siyang medium graphics and high frame rates. It didn't go way all the way, so very high. Pero feeling ko din, yung devs ay alam nila yung utilities ng phone. Kaya, uh, actually, very optimized siya, no? Very smooth naman yung experience. And also, the sound quality is pretty, pretty good. Nilig mo lahat ng mga baril, yung mga pagsabog, pati mga footsteps. That's, that's the point of this, di ba? Kasi nga, especially Free Fire. Ito na Free Fire! Dito mas rinig yung footsteps kasi sa anong game yun? Dito mas rinig yung pagbarel. Boom! Oh. Okay. But yes, yeah, sa Free Fire, okay siya, mabilis siya. Uh, 
Well, syempre, pwede ba siyang unoptimized for this game? May collaboration nga eh. Mer- meron bang ganun? Nagko-collaborate na hindi okay yung... Hindi, joke lang. Now, dito na ba tayo sa Genshin Impact? Yung ating impact sa Genshin Impact ay very good. I wouldn't say sobrang ganda po niya. No? Kan lowest graphics po kami dito and we've got everything in me. Talagang low talaga. And 60 frames per second po ito, no? And we're seeing na at first, no? Medyo nag-render siya. Every time nag-render yung lugar, medyo nag-relag siya ng konti. And pero during combat, okay naman siya. Not, not unless boss battle siya at marami masyado animation na nangyayari sa screen, you will feel that uh, frame drop when you're playing the game. But everything else feels very much smooth. Especially kapag walang kalaban, as in open lang talaga yung field, wala kang mararandaman na frame drops. But highly advisable if you really want to play this game na sobrang smooth, highest graphics pa, you should go for a true gaming flagship device. Flagship pa. Kasi nga, ito ay mid-range phone pa. Hopefully soon, maglabas si Tecno ng super flagship gaming phone that ah uh, I will be super excited kasi nga ito pa lang guys sobrang sulit na uh, entry level mid range sobrang mm, kuhang kuha nyo techno ang gusto ng mga Pilipino this is what we want this is what we need right now sa, mga, sa gaming namin and we love you for that hopefully magkaroon pa tayo ng more phones in the future mas mahal mas maganda yung specs snapdragon 8 gen 4 5 di ba? sana lang sana lang praying praying and of course for the camera syempre hindi naman pwedeng binili mo na to for gaming what if this is only your phone and you want to also have a proper camera? Because for many, they actually only have one phone. I don't know if I have ten phones. I have a phone for texting, I have a phone for camera, for gaming, I have a phone for alarm. Lang. Sana all! But yun, the camera on this thing is so much better. So, so much better than the non-pro version. We compare po namin sila. Pero mamaya, papakita ko. Pero ito guys, ito yung sample na kanyang cameras. Oh my God! Ang ganda po! The contrast is off the hooks. And the detail we have. Not mo yung t-shirt ko guys. The details on my shirt are so noticeable. Alam mo yung fabric, kitang-kita. Yung parang details niya. Yung kanyang texture. Kitang-kita po. And even sa labas, ang ganda. Ang ganda ng itsura niya. Yung... May punch. Nagsishine po yung aking mukha. Nagsishine po yung aking skin. Yung pagkatao ko dito. Talagang nagsishine siya. I'm not sure what they did here. Pero ang ganda. Ito na po. Ito yung comparison na so, Sa Povo 5 lang. So sa Povo 5, medyo ayun lang. Hindi po siya kasing shiny. Kas, kasing contrasty. Yung dating niya is medyo hindi ganun ka lively compared sa Pro version. Wala na, nakukula lang lang sa skin tone and color dito sa non-pro version. Pero sa Pro version, wow! Ito yung masabi kong you can bring anywhere with you and it will shine all the way. Para lagi kang pogi dito, lagi kang maganda, laging panalo ang itsura ng inyong picture. And even though almost the same yung kanyang Antutu benchmark, that's right, 400 cadence, non-pro version. But, in terms of camera, nakapakalayo po. Hindi ko po sure anong ginawa nila. Well, iba kasi yung kanilang processor baka doon. Now, in terms of video, check this out. So, ito yung 1080p, 30 frames per second sa Tecno Polo 5 Pro. And as you can see, maganda lang yung kanyang quality sa camera. We will do a walking test right now. Ito tayo kung smooth siya. Ah, hindi masyado. Well, actually guys, meron siya special feature. Meron po siya stabilization inside of the camera. And here it is. So, ito na yung merong stabilization. Yun nga lang, meron siyang konting crop, konting zoomed in. Kasi nga, syempre, kailangan nyo ng konting zoom para mag-stabilize uh, sa software. And so far, mukhang okay naman siya. Magkita lang yung kanya camera. The Tecno Polo 5 Pro is a much better camera compared to the non-pro version. So, yun naman. Nagulat ako, meron pa siya ultra steady. Yung mga para stabilization pa na features. Wow, it's, it also has that. Kaya lang nag-crop in siya ng todo, which is parang, hmm. Okay, siguro yan pang cinematic, yung mga ganun. Pero pag nag-vlog ka guys, I don't recommend it kasi masyado siyang malapit sa mukha mo. Wala ka masyadong mapapakita sa inyong surroundings. And it's unpleasant na masyadong malapit sa mukha nyo. Kasi ang laki ng mukha ko, di ba, sa video. Laki, taba. Pero I'm confident to vlog with this phone. If you're looking for also a vlogging phone, this is perfect for you. Wow, you have surprised us, Tecno, again with the Pova 5 Pro. I'm so... So, so proud of you. Ah, I'm so happy na meron tayong ganito. I'm not sure kung ano yung vision dito ni Tecno, ah. But they are providing the best for the Filipino people. Thank you so much, Tecno. And thank you so much for the price. Ito na po yung price. 9,999 pesos lang. What? It's over. Anong ginawa mo dito, Tecno? Tapos na. Ta. Uh, the competition is over. Uwi na tayo. I don't think there's gonna be something better than this in the next week. Kasi guys, si Tecno naglalagay siya naglalabas ng mga bago. Madalas, no? And there's also actually... Siyempre, gano'n si Transion, di ba? Meron silang 
iba pang brands. Hindi ko lang mention dito. But yeah, those are also very competitive uh, phone brands na feeling ko baka kaya talunin to. Let us see in the future if it can actually be beaten by those brands. And if you want to see more unboxing, mga sulit phones, mga comparison, mag-subscribe ka lang, hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my great content. Tapos si Vince and you're watching Unbox Diaries. Hoo-hoo.